Have you ever wondered how we locate any place on the Earth? It's a question that has puzzled humankind for centuries. In the early days of exploration, adventurers and explorers had to rely on the stars, landmarks, and a fair share of guesswork to navigate their way across the vast, uncharted expanses of our planet. But as time passed, and as our understanding of the world grew, we developed more precise ways to pinpoint our position. One such method that revolutionized our ability to navigate is the system of latitude and longitude. Imagine a grid sprawled across the globe, with imaginary lines running from pole to pole and circling the Earth from east to west. These lines serve as a universal address system, providing a set of coordinates that can direct you to any location on the globe. So, how does this all work? Let's dive into the world of latitude and longitude. Imagine the Earth as an apple. If we slice it horizontally, we get lines called latitudes. These imaginary lines, or latitudes, run horizontally, hugging the Earth from east to west. They're like the rungs of a ladder, stretching around the planet, parallel to the equator, which is itself a latitude line, sitting pretty at zero degrees. Now, these latitudes are measured in degrees, starting from zero at the equator, all the way to 90 at the poles. Picture it as a giant protractor wrapped around the Earth, marking out these degrees. And these aren't just arbitrary lines, they play a crucial role in our lives. They help us understand the climate of a region, as the temperature tends to drop the further you move from the equator. They also assist in defining time zones, giving us a sense of time relative to the position of the sun. So remember, latitude lines are like the ladder to climb up or down the earth. Now, if we slice the apple vertically, we get lines called longitudes. These lines, unlike their horizontal counterparts, run vertically from the North Pole to the South Pole. Imagine them as the vertical stripes on a basketball wrapping around the Earth in a series of great arcs. The concept of longitude is a fascinating one, measured in degrees from zero at the prime meridian, an imaginary line that runs from the North Pole to the South Pole through Greenwich, England. As you travel east or west from this line, the longitude increases up to 180 degrees. But why are these lines so important? Well, they help us understand time. As the Earth rotates, the sun shines on different longitudes at different times. This is why when it's morning in London, it could be evening in Tokyo. So longitude lines are like the long lines running from pole to pole. Now that we know what latitude and longitude are, how do they work together? Well, let's think of them as an enormous grid wrapped around our planet, like a giant game of battleship with latitude and longitude as the coordinates. When we combine both, we get a unique pair of numbers that can pinpoint any location on Earth. For instance, the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt is situated at around 29.9 degrees north latitude and 31.1 .1 degrees east longitude. That's its unique address in the world, just like your home has a unique street address. Or, let's take the Statue of Liberty in New York. It's located at approximately 40 degrees north latitude and 74 degrees west longitude. Again, a unique set of numbers that tells us exactly where it is. So with just two numbers, we can locate any place on the Earth. Isn't that fascinating? So we've covered a lot of ground today, haven't we? We embarked on a journey through the invisible lines that crisscross our planet, the latitudes and longitudes. We've learned that latitude lines run east to west, but measure distance north and south of the equator. Longitude lines, on the other hand, run north to south but measure distance east and west of the prime meridian. We've explored how these lines are measured in degrees, with latitude lines varying from zero at the equator to 90 at the poles, and longitude lines ranging from zero at the prime meridian to 180 on the opposite side of the globe. We've seen how together, these lines create a grid system that allows us to pinpoint any location on Earth with remarkable accuracy. The next time you look at a map or use your GPS, remember the invisible lines of latitude and longitude that guide us on our journeys. Until next time, keep exploring. हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और साथ ही बेल आइकन दबाएं, जिससे समय पर नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिलती रहे। आपका एक लाइक हमें प्रोत्साहित करता है, जिससे कि हम नई वीडियो बनाएं। Thanks for your support.